Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20, and welcome to part four of designing a, a simple catalog item, um, as well as having a flow behind it. Um, so, so far we've created our catalog item, we have created a simple flow with it, um, and now we are going to test it. So, um, first thing I'm going to do, uh, you can test this directly through the flow designer. Now, because this is my dev instance and I don't have any live data or anything, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do a live test here and I'm going to activate this flow. And then we're going to need to associate the flow uh, with the uh, the catalog item itself here. Uh, now, one thing I do want to note here, uh, so we did have this step, the get catalog variables. Uh, so we pulled the catalog variables in. Uh, however, if you'll notice through the other steps, we didn't actually use these. Um, so you can make decisions. So in this case, this is a Mac or a PC. Maybe that triggers a different approval. Maybe that goes to someone else. Uh, because this is just a simple flow, we just looked at uh, an approval in general. So there wasn't anything additional that we used that variable for in this flow. So in reality, this step is unnecessary. Uh, but I did just want to show how to do it. Um, so this is, if you are going to use those variables based on the user input in your flow, you'd want to have this here. So we've activated it. Now let us go back to our catalog item here. Maintain items. My video catalog item. And we're in the process engine, flow. Now that it's been activated uh, and it's going off the service uh, request, we, uh, sorry, the service catalog, we can see my video flow uh, shows up here. So I'm going to select that. And now I'm going to save. And with some magic video editing, uh, we can see that I've impersonated uh, this user here. I've found my catalog item in the service catalog. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And we can see, is this a Mac or PC? You can see the description. This is the full description that we created in uh, the first video here. Uh, for this, I'm just going to say it's a PC and order now. Uh, the requested for, uh, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and check out now. And then I will uh, I'll pause this quick and pull it up on the back end. All right, so we have the request pulled up here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the requested item, and we are actually going to notice something here. Um, so we've got the requested item pulled up now. Is this a Mac or a PC? It's a PC. Now, what we expected to see is that this should then have an approval. Uh, however, it doesn't. And so one thing that we can check here is if you remember in the flow designer, we looked for um, the request. So let's go back to the request. We looked for the requested for their manager. So I'm going to pull this up. And we can see right here the manager field isn't filled in. So there's really no approval that needs to be created. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this. I'm going to submit a new ticket here, uh, and then we'll take a look again. OK, we're back again here. So we've got the requested for. If we look here, we can see that Abraham Lincoln has now been set to manager. So now let's go into the requested item. And we can see that this now does have an approval. State here is requested. I'm going to go ahead and here and change this to approved. And I'll save the record. And give it a minute. And we can see that a catalog task has been created. 
if we go into the task, um, we can see that it is indeed here. So if there are additional items you could add to it. We can see that the assigned assignment group isn't actually on this form, uh, but it is being set on the back end. Um, anything you want to add to it, you certainly could. Now, vice versa, we want to check to make sure uh, that's all there was for the approval. Um, now, I also want to check um, for rejecting it. And so I have created another ticket here from the portal. We'll go to our requested item again and approvers. And this one uh, is requested a Mac and I want to reject that. Reject. No hate against Max, uh, just in this scenario, we are going to reject it. And then keep in mind, it isn't like 100% instantaneous. It is fairly quick uh, that it will go through this, um, but sometimes it does need a refresh here or two. All right, and after giving it a minute, we do see the state is now close complete. If we let's go back to the request, we can see the state on the request has been closed canceled. So uh, that's how to make kind of a, a basic catalog item with, uh, with a flow behind it. Um, that's all I've got for now. Thanks and have a great day.